Hey everyone, Theme Park DNA here. Today I'm unboxing um, an order I got from the Custom Saber Shop. And I think this is a, a pommel and a mentor. But I ordered several things and I, I got two or three boxes piled up. And I might have got them mixed up. So we'll find out together whether or not this is the right box. Yeah, all right, well I guessed right on this one. And they've got the best packing peanuts. At the Custom Saber Shop, I like to reuse these. No static. But that's not what we're here to talk about. All right, so. Wow, that's actually really interesting. It's a bubble wrap bag. I've gotten that before, but not one is shaped like that. All right. This is my first set of parts, MHS parts from Custom Saber Shop. I'm kind of excited. So I've got one of my mana cores here. This is the stunt. And so my idea that I've got to say the mana core was the inspiration for this, but Man, I was just looking at all the lightsabers that I'm interested in getting, and I'm like, there's no way I'm going to be able to afford all of these. And I was really interested in the MHS, MHS compatibility between Ultra Sabers and the Custom Saber Shop. And I was, I was thinking I could really, if I found the right hilt that kind of looked good with any pommel or emitter then instead of buying every lightsaber I wanted I could just buy four or five really good hilts that are MHS compatible and just mix and match and and the first hilt that made me think about that was this manicore I mean it's, it's a good looking hilt black and, and silver on the ends it'll match any combination of silver and black pretty much so, all right, I had to look at my receipt. So first up is this emitter, which I really dug. I was like, um, it reminds me of the crown emitter off of the catalyst, but it comes to a point and I was interested in it before and it wasn't in stock and when it came in stock is when I decided to order all of this I was like, man, I've got to get it so this is the MHS v1 blade holders style 23 and it was 1575 without the blade retention screw hole tapped and screwed and I went ahead and did that too, and that's another 750. So let's take a look. Let's put it on the right end. No, let's don't. Because I got a choke. Also, this is MHS Choke Style 3. Great choke deep choke on there it looks like it matches the catalyst got my dark catalyst here for comparison yeah that's the same choke all right so the TCCS choke style 3 is the same choke 
found on the catalyst. I bet you. Is that the same width? Hard to say whether it's the same width or not. Well, the uh, the points on this is a little thicker, but it's very, very similar. All right, looking good. Now, let's put that on here. Wow, that looks great. Let's finish it out. All right, this is gonna be the MHS Pommel Style 12. Really good looking pommel, it's simple. Um, just to let you know, so this choke was $19 and this pommel was $16.50. And I ordered a pommel insert. This pommel is a, it's a sound, could be used for a sound pommel. It's open-ended and um, that's not my favorite. So they make these inserts. two blade retention screws there. That's neither here nor there. They've got these inserts that go in the bottom of the pommel perfectly. And this little retaining clip help holds it in place. I'm gonna grab some needle nose pliers. All right, well, you know, those pliers were a little short, so it took me a minute to get that fixed, but I've got that clamp all the way in there. And now we've got um, now I've got that pommel insert in there. That's a really good looking pommel. Wow. Almost a perfect fit. Wow, it's really, really similar to the catalyst. I like that pommel on there. That's the LED rattling. Let's put a blade in. All right. What do you think about that? I like it a lot. I actually like it better than the Catalyst. I like the Catalyst a lot. So, new pommel. Insert. Same awesome choke point from the Catalyst. And a crown emitter points to the pieces of the crown that's uh, that's that's perfect I like that a lot put that in on the rotation LED in here I want to say it's inside the choke point because I was just about to trade it is oh well Well, can't put the choke point on there, but let's take a look and see. What this pommel and emitter look like on the catalyst. Cause that is a perfect fit. Nice. Tell you what. I like this idea of mixing and matching silver and black emitters and pommels. As long as you got some silver and black in there, it's probably gonna look all right. 
I think it'd look better if we had the silver choke point on it, but I really don't want to. Take off, oh, take off the LED on this one yet. Yeah. This is obsidian light. That feels great. Looks great. Doesn't quite match up here as cleanly as the catalyst. Emitter does. Still, fun little experiment. A trim ring in there would take care of that. All right, well, that's going to do it for today's video. If you haven't subscribed, hit that subscription button so you don't miss any of our future content. And thanks again for watching.